Shalom, my little friends. Shalom. Okay, dude. You want to know? Oh my goodness. I'm just stunned. I'm blown away at how our Father blesses us with an understanding of things. Let's just get right into it because, I mean, this stuff is amazing. <clears throat> okay, so, um, Matthew chapter 16, verse 1, and I'm not sure how far we'll go. We won't be going too far. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, you say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red, and in the morning it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O oh, ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet Jonah, and he left them and departed. Okay, okay. Dude, one, let's talk about this a little bit. This specific with the red, all right? In 2022, I just read this the other day, um, there is supposed to be this red supernova that's supposed to go come in the sky. And apparently in the Zohar, in these Kabbalist Freemasons um, prophecies, they say that this is, that Donald Trump coming in and bringing in Jerusalem as the capital, that he has ushered in this spread supernova, and so the, and, and it's supposed to be here in 2022. So some big stuff supposed to happen in 2022, according to the Zohar, and and. If some of y'all don't listen to the Light God Sea Warrior, please go over to him. Listen to some of the stuff he's got saying. He's saying because um, he talks about more um, about how these are trying to push prophecy before prophecy is appointed. But the word of Yahuwah God Almighty lets us know that no matter what they do, they will not be able to do. Um, um, they will not be able to fulfill prophecy unless it's the appointed time period no matter what but this is part of the 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 beast new world order system deceiving the whole world the babylonian system deceiving the whole world it's part of it them getting you to believe that prophecy is being fulfilled so this is specific that jesus is specifically you know talking to these um, Pharisees and these Sadducees and he's telling them um, you know that y'all look at the sky um, you know you can discern the signs of those times but but you can't um, discern me being here but wait a minute he didn't even say that he's just straight up letting them know that y'all can discern these times you are hypocrites um, you're in a wicked and adulterous generation you seek after a sign there's no sign be given unto you but the sign of the prophet Jonah Dude, this word for weather. Let's go through this. So, verse 2. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, I will be, I'll, it will be fair weather. That word for fair weather is concordance number G2105, and it means Zeus. Yes, I said Zeus. It is Eudia, Eudia as the false god of weather, a clear sky, fine weather, fair weather. And it's from 2203. Zeus, Dis, among Latins Jupiter or Jove, the supreme false deity of the Greeks, Jupiter. Okay, all right. And then let's, let's finish with the verse. For the sky is red. That word for sky is, is G3772. I didn't, I don't think that I wrote it down. All right. Red, it is P-Y-R-Y-H-A-Z-O. Uh, -Y and it's from G4449. And it means to redden. And it's from G4450. Fire like flame colored. From 4442, pyre, lightning, fire, 
Uh, notice around this, it, it, it's lightning fire. Okay, verse 3. And in the morning it will be foul weather. That word for foul weather is concordance G5494. And it is uh, Keo, C-H-E-O. And it means to pour a channel. A storm is pouring rain. The rainy season. Winter. Tempest. Foul weather. Very interesting here, you know, these these words. And more with the um, the rain. The, the weather in this channel. The channel of the television. You're changing channels. It's on the channel of the water. Water has so much to do with this. But he divided the waters from the waters. We pretty much live inside of water. Okay, today. All right. And in the morning, it will be foul weather. Today. For the sky is red and lowering. That word for lowering. G4768. To render gloomy, gloomier, glower. Not gloomier, glower. Be overcast with clouds or somberness of speech. Here we are with language, mouth, speaking. Lower, be sad, lowering, and it's from G4767. Stigo, stigo, to hate, hated, odious, hateful, lowering. Look, look, no, not look. Listen around you. Listen to even the children's words are hateful, angry discouraged they're saddened the dude this parable that Jesus was speaking has to do with what they're doing with the cloud seeding and who they're worshiping all right now it is no coincidence that everybody around us has got this hateful type of, of personality now and this 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 not wanting to let go of things and not and, and, and just holding on to everything. This has to do with them working on this weather, that them, them modifying this weather, worshiping this false god that they worship. It's changing our personalities. It's changing folks' attitudes to hatefulness. And right here in the parable, we have him telling us what they're doing. Okay, so... Oh, you hypocrites, you, dis you can discern the face of the sky, but can you not discern the signs of the times? And that word for sky, I believe it's the same thing as it was up there at the top, G3772. Oh, and it means heaven. That word for sky means heaven. I've got it in little parentheses. I wonder why I didn't have it, that written out. It means heaven. Ain't that something? So you can discern the, the, the face of heaven what we've been talking about, them digging into this cloud, they're trying to get knowledge, understanding. What? It's all in here. Okay. Discern the signs of the times. All right. Now, if you go and you look up, the word Jupiter is in the Bible. Okay. And Jupiter is in Acts. Barnabas was called Jupiter in the book of Acts. Um, Jupiter is mentioned twice in the book, three times um, in the book of Acts. Um, twice in one chapter and, and once in another chapter. But if you look up the concordance for Acts, I mean for Jupiter, it's G1356. Diopetes. Diopetes? Ah. Sky fallen. An aerolite, which I'm not really sure what that is, which fell down from Jupiter. And that is from G. 4098, pit, pipito, pipto, or pito, peto, peto file, peto, um, a lightning to fall, fail, fall down, light on, and, and plus G2203, Zeus, Jupiter. So 4098 plus 2203 makes up the name Jupiter. And it means sky falling, fail, a lightning, okay? 
Now that word for Pepto, I mean, th this is really interesting stuff here. You know, I know that I'm doing a lot of concordance numbers, but I re th this is something, uh, some of y'all are really going to dig this um, and, and not just dig it, but you're going to, I, I really believe that Jesus is going to bless y'all with an understanding of something. So y'all bless me with some understanding of stuff um, because uh, this is some big stuff here. This is a parable just in two little bitty verses here. We have a breakdown of the word of the modification and what they're doing okay in revelation 7 16 it says they shall hunger no more neither thirst anymore neither shall the sun light on them nor any heat light on the specific with the light on it means g 40 98 this pipto p-i-p-t-o this it this in this specific concordance number um if you look up the words it for this concordance number to fall, fail, fall down, light on, lightning. It's not, not, not every number, or not every word, for these specific words, has the same concordance number. This forty ninety eight is not on a lot of them, but it's specific to these words for Babylon, because in uh, Revelation. 14.8 Revelation 17.10 and Revelation 18.2 when it speaks about Babylon falling those words for falling actually are concordance number 4098 there's no coincidence this is very specific I think that you know it's not just Babylon Babylon will be falling to the worship of their false gods you know it's not just babylon's going to be falling down you know what i mean um yes um i believe that babylon's buildings and place of exist where they're at the land they're at now i believe that it's going to come tumbling down but there's more going on here with this word falling because it doesn't just mean fall it means lightning lightning on light on okay knowledge is if you fall to the worship and knowledge of false gods you have fallen that's what it's called it's called fallen you've fallen away from the true word of Yahuwah are god almighty and we see that this concordance number here is not just falling down there's more going on here okay Zeus, Jupiter. Now, the French ruler right now, Macron, I think that's his name, when he first started ruling over in France, that ninja straight up came out on TV. Everybody's seen it. There was magazines done about it. And he straight up out of his own mouth. I ain't not, I have not forgotten about this. He said, I'm going to rule like the false god Jupiter. Now, he didn't say false, but I'll, I, he barely catch me say the God. Because there is only one God and one true God only. So, any other God, they're false. They're fallen angels. They're false. But that man specifically speaking those words, that was a a. a a statement a bold statement and very specific so then out of nowhere I find out right after him speaking this I find out and, and, and I should have known it but it's Jesus he blesses us you know in the right time that CERN the large hadron collider the large hadron collider is set on land of Switzerland and on land of France. And the building Apollo, a whole town that was named after the false god Apollyon, Apollo, it, it, it was there on that land that they built this large hadron collider. Now look, I know a lot of people say, oh, here it is with CERN again. I don't care what anybody says. All these machines that they have built everywhere, all of them, every one of them are resonating energy. Every one of them are operating. Even the state capital in Washington 
is resonating energy working with these machines around the world so yes the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, Switzerland has a lot to do with what's going on today. So, this machine being on France, land of France, you got the French dude, the ruler saying that he's going to rule like the false god Jupiter. And then out of nowhere, you got huge wars going on with China and, and Japan because of Donald Trump. I mean, not Japan, but China and, 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 and uh, um, uh, the, with the Muslims and da da da. But, but you got wars going on out of nowhere, right? But dude, somehow these nations have set aside all their differences and came together at France to build an artificial sun. China, Japan, uh, is it North Korea or South Korea? One of the Koreas, the United States of America, France, and uh, there's one more. Might even be two more that are involved in this. All building this artificial sun in France. No coincidences. No, none whatsoever. Well, I'm finding out, and we're fixing to, to do a little, I'm going to show y'all some screenshots Jesus has been working on. Sarnunos is Jupiter. Sarnunos is Amon. Sarnunos is this false god that they are worshipping. Sarnunos being Jupiter. Now, is he the main false god? I'm starting to really uh, feel that he is. I mean, if Zeus is Jupiter and Zeus is this false god that apparently put all of the, the giants into a, a condemned place, had this war with the Titans, then apparently Zeus, this false god of weather, who Jesus has brought up in a parable, Apparently, this is the one that they are worshiping. This one with the horns. I'm fixing to show y'all something. Hallelujah. Who's Jesus going to show y'all something? Well, y'all blessed in the name of Yahushua Jesus, and I'm going to get right back to you, okay? <laughs> 